Chapter 3, Mishnah 9. The following Mishnah addresses a case of Yibam where there are three brothers and none of them are married to sisters. There are three brothers married to three unrelated women. One of the brothers died, and the second brother made ma'amar with the widow, thus making a partial marriage with her. And he then died, leaving two widows, one to whom he had been fully married, and a second to whom he had been partially married through ma'amar. The law is that both these widows perform chalitza with the living brother, but may not be taken in yibum by him. As it is stated in Deuteronomy 25, 5, and one of them dies, her yavam shall come to her, which teaches that yibum is performed only with a widow who has on her a yibum bond from one yavam, and not with a widow who has on her a yibum bond from two yavams. Since the Ma'amar wife was never fully married to the second brother, she still has her yibum bond from the first brother. But since she was partially married to the second brother, she has a yibum bond from him as well. As a result, she is a Yavama who is bound to the third brother with yibum bonds from two of his brothers. She is therefore not eligible for yibum and needs chalitza instead. However, her chalitza cannot exempt her co-wife because she was only partly her co-wife. Therefore, her co-wife needs chalitza as well. The Mishnah cites another view. Rabbi Shimon says, the living brother may perform yibum with whichever widow he wishes, and then perform chalitza with the other one. According to Rabbi Shimon, Ma'amar surely does not make a partial marriage. However, he is unsure whether it creates a full marriage or none at all. If he creates a full marriage, then the second brother was fully married to both widows, and the third brother can perform yibum with one and thereby free the other. If it does not make any marriage at all, if it does not make any marriage at all, then each brother was married to one widow, so the third brother could perform yibum with both widows. Either way, then, he may perform yibum with one of the widows. The other one needs chalitza. Having completed its discussion of cases involving three brothers, the Mishnah moves on to a case of two brothers married to sisters. That is, married to sisters, not married to two sisters. So this is a case of two brothers married to sisters. There are two brothers married to two sisters. Okay, scratch what I just said. <clears throat> there are two brothers married to two sisters. One of the brothers died, and afterwards the wife of the second brother died. The widow of the first brother is forbidden to the second brother forever, despite the fact that she is no longer an erva to him on account of being his wife's sister, because she became forbidden to him for Yibam at one time. That is, because she became eligible for Yibam at the moment her husband died. Since, at that point, the second brother could not marry her, she is the same as the woman whose husband died with children, who is an erva to the living brothers forever.